When I put this on, I just felt so uh, like myself. It hugged my body perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, so, and also has crowns. I'm a queen, yeah. so you know. And I'm just no, you so look I, fantastic. I, I feel fabulous in it. Thank Good. you so and much. And these nails too. I have to see these. These, look at these, these are actually. Nails. This is by Yvette. She's nominated as Nail Artist of the Year, and she's my nail girl. And which is funny is that I actually got my nails done mm -hmm. uh, an hour before I, my fitting, so I had no idea what I was gonna wear and. Get Guess what? It fit perfectly. You are like in sync. Everything. This is why you are here tonight and hosting the red or the pink carpet yes, better am, than yeah. anything. Yeah. So who are you most excited to see tonight? Um, I mean, I'm just excited to see my friends. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a lot of pe friends in this industry, so right. not really to name one. I'm just excited just to be around all these beautiful people, and it's such an inspiration just to even be around these people because we, but for the most part, we all kind of came from nothing and mm -hmm. started our own thing our own YouTube channels, our Instagrams, all of that, and became influencers and kind of like grew that way. Yeah. So it's it's such an inspiration just to be around all this type of people. Well, it's such a testament to you guys with all the hard work that you've done because this didn't exist, what, five years ago? No. And now we have a pink carpet for it, first annual awards. Yeah. Like, what is the biggest transition you've gone through over the last period of years since you started doing all of this? Well, I've been a hairdresser for seven years, and when I, what, what really like kind of made me think like wow I kind of made it mm -hmm. was four years ago I did a meet and greet at a hair show which by the way I didn't even know hair shows existed because I was so just like clients 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 right and the meet and greet went so well um, that it went outside the convention center the line and so oh that's when I was like wow people really want to meet me and why I was so confused because I didn't know this type of world at mm -hmm. all and that's when I was just like wow I think I kind of made it in this industry and it was so amazing like and it, it's, it's still so humbling when a person recognizes me because at the end of the day you know I, I just I do what I love I'm just a hairdresser right. but for others I can inspire them and I love when people message me like I went to hair school because of you and it's like that's like the biggest compliment that anyone can ever give me that's incredible I mean I can't imagine just being like that big of an influence and now branching out and being here okay so one last question though since you are a hair dresser yeah. what should I do to my hair if I make a big change um, you know what I love you as a brunette actually okay. and your hair is very healthy so what I would do mm -hmm. which you should stop by my salon in oh. Studio City Larissa hey. loves salon hey yeah. hey hey I would do a little bit of balayage just to create okay. that dimension into your hair especially when you curl it you'll have a lot of like dimension different tones cur like Ooh. intertwined with each other yes I'm going to her salon after this guys so yes. Yes. hit her Come up on by. yes thank you so much yes, you have a good so night much for having me.